hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video I will show you that how to record macro in Excel so in this example we will filter some data using recording option of the Excel so basically what happened that uh, if you want to automate Excel first of all you should have the knowledge of the coding but if you do not have the knowledge of the coding so time being you can use the recording macro option and you can just automate some of your task because completely if you think that uh, using this functionality you will just automate everything so it is not possible but this functionality just provide you a help and uh, and it will guide you that how your macro is basically executing and uh, how you need to write the code so you can just get the idea using record macro option so this is my part one so I will up upload some more videos related uh, record macro so I will automate uh, some other task as well so this is part one so you can just watch my videos upcoming videos as well right so the in this particular demo I have to filter some data using record option so let's go on to the data so this is my some I have just created some dummy data where we have some months and this is the randomly I have just created pasted here some data over here or created some data over here right so first of all if you'll have to what is my criteria my criteria is this one greater than 30 copy this data and paste it to another sheet means in January we have to just uh, filter the data which is greater than 30 and then copy this data and paste this data to the another sheet so this is my task which I will which I will have to do using record macro option right so in order to record macro you have two options first one you can see here in bottom of your Excel right and uh, left hand side where uh, you can see this ready option or you can also press one option like uh, th this is shortcut alt plus then you need to press W then M then R once you will press this option then uh, a wizard will open front of you which will say that uh, record your macro then you will have to press the your button and then automatically video uh, that uh, macro start recording okay and according to the the way you want to just record that your macro so we are not going to use shortcut this time so we will use manual manually we will just record the macro so first of all you if you will see this button if you will hover your mouse here so here is written like no macro are currently recording click to begin recording a new macro right so what is my task my task is greater than 30 I need to copy from this file and need to create another sheet and paste this data into another sheet right so this is using record uh, macro functionality so first of all I have to just select our let's suppose I'm just selecting my cursor here or here so in between the data I can just select my ma uh, select any cells so you can create same kind of data and uh, follow the instruction which I'm just following right now then click on this button once you will click here then you can see that macro name and this is shortcut key and this is a description and this is a stop macro it is uh, like uh, this is my workbook so this macro will be generated in this particular workbook so you can just by default the name is uh, coming here that is macro 2 so I will change it and I will change it to the filter data so just remember this this is my macro name this is filter data and see this button observe this button once I will click here then you can see that this is and if you would be able to see the screen tip it says that a macro is currently recording a click to stop recording so once you your macro start recording if you will just click here and there anywhere so it will just record each and every steps whatever you are you are doing in your Excel so on, whenever you are just recording macro always you need to be specific what you are doing otherwise it will just uh, generate some unnecessary code right so right now my current cell is this one is selected then I simply press control a once I will con press control uh, control a then I need to go to the data then click on filter option 
once I will click on the fl filter option then just click on this drop down then click on this number filter right and then simply click on greater than and uh, so it is a custom auto filter so it is, is greater than so it simply give the 30 because our criteria is greater than 30 I need to copy and paste it to the another sheet so is greater than 30 then I simply click on OK button so you can see that I am just uh, following the options and I am not clicking here and there in the excel file so I have just filtered the data simply copy it and add another sheet and simply control V here and then I will go back to the sheet to where is my data and simply I will go to the filter option and unfilter this data right and then I will stop my recording by clicking this symbol once I will click then you can see that this symbol has been changed it means the macro has been recorded and uh, I will go to the, this sheet and I will delete this sheet as well right so my macro is recorded then I will go to the insert button and in this shape simply I will uh, use any one of these shape and let's suppose I'm taking this shape simply right click here assign macro so this is my macro which I have recorded recently click OK and if you want to give any name to this let's suppose I'm giving it a name like if you filter data so if you not give any name to this it will work but uh, I'm just giving it a name and uh, so right now you can see that only one sheet is there and uh, now if I'll just click here in this button so you can see that this sheet is created and if I'll click here then you can see that greater than 30 numbers are here it means we have successfully recorded our macro again I will go and delete this file and if I'll, if I'll have to check the uh, coding which is recorded in background then I can go through this way I simply click on sim click simply click on the uh, sheet tab and click on the view code simply click here uh, once you will click here then your VBA editor will be open front of you then here you can see that module folder simply click here in this plus symbol or expand it then you can see that module has been created for this simply double click over here then you can see the complete coding of this recording so the subroutine is filter data which have in, uh, initially choose that uh, the macros name will be filter and this is the coding behind this uh, complete uh, filter uh, filter like greater than 30 right so you can see that range a1 and f2 one select then it has activated this one then select auto filter so this is my criteria which I have taken that it should be greater than 30 then copy then sheet dot add active sheet that paste sheet to dot select then this is the complete coding if you are new to the this VBA coding so might be you would uh, will not you are not able to understand it but this is a very simple coding if you will follow the step by step so it is not possible that whatever the coding like everything I would be able to do it using this uh, uh, recording co command right so you should have the knowledge of the coding but this will give you also some edge and uh, if you will just review this code then you would be able to understand it right so I will if I'll go here and if I simply change it to the 60 and uh, we have one option like uh, if I have to run this code so I uh, step by uh, step by step then we can press F8 button so simply click here in this filter tab then press F8 then you can see the the once this uh, line of code will execute one by one then you can see the what action is performing here in the excel file right I will just click here a1 to f21 so a1 to f21 it will select and then uh, it will just auto filter it then greater than 60 so you can see that in range a1 so range a1 uh, it is considering column a like field 1 though so it has just captured all the data which is greater than 60 then selection dot copy it will copy it then sheets dot add so it will add this uh, another sheet paste it here and then it will again go back to sheet 2 
and then it cut copy mode false means the whatever the you can see this curly bracket it will automatically uh, disappear from here then selection dot auto filter then it will just come out from the auto filter filter mode so in this way you can just uh, record some uh, uh, task like uh, if you have but it is not uh, I'm also saying that uh, uh, to you that it is not possible that you will do end-to-end -end, uh, coding using uh, processing or automation using this recording command you should have the knowledge of the basic coding like you should have the knowledge of the uh, like uh, if command loops and multiple things are there so in upcoming videos I will also just uh, describe you about that how we need to write our own code so in this tutorial you can just uh, see that how we filter the data using record macro option so I will up, uh, upload some more videos uh, related to the f uh, recording options so stay tuned with this channel and if you like this video so you can also subscribe my channel so I hope you would like this video thank you for watching have a nice day